Okie dokie, round one. Got a five lander on the draw, but I am going to keep it. We've got our two colors. Got some stuff going on in turn three. I don't think this hand's terrible. It's susceptible to flood, but I don't think it warrants mulliganing. All right, there's a finisher. Got a couple in hand, I guess. All right, red, black. Good color combo. No plays? Interesting. All right, Shipwreck Singer. Ooh, that would have been a good... That would have been good last turn, but let's drop our Siren, get him out there. Not the fattest beater, but... Yeah, ooh, that guy's good. Oh, convenient top deck, I should say. Um, we're going to wait on the Feast of Dreams, by the way, if you didn't know already, only because I want him to bestow or play a cantrip or, a, or something on his hag. I guess he could Boon of Erebus it, technically, but I'm not going to play around Boon yet. We did pass one in the draft, but I'm just not going to do it yet. I, I, I think there's enough upside to waiting on the Feast of Dreams for him to try and do something clever to his fate on Raveler. And even if he does have Boon, it will remove the fate on Raveler from combat, so not the end of the world. Ooh, three-color Jund. I don't see a ton of three-color decks in the format, but... Um, yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Guess we'll block here. It's going to remove it from combat anyway, so just want him to see if he does anything. Really just am trying to goad him into something. Uh, yeah, that works. So he's going to eat our Shipwreck Singer, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. And if we get a blue source off the top, we're actually looking real good, I think. Um, yeah, that's not bad either, actually. So I guess we stay back. Let's chill on our Warwing Siren. Thunder Brute. So we'll give it haste. All 
All right, so block big dude, necrobite. Guy gets bigger, death touch will kill his fatty. Follow-up next turn is nice. We get to do the Lamia, making him discard, as well as get in for two. Have a decent blocker at the same time. Um, I mean, could do the Sea Lock Monster too, but I'm going to do the Lamia. I don't see any reason why not to. Let's see what he discards. It's going to help us with some value. I really like having the Sea Lock Monster follow up here too. It's nice to have another fatty on the way. Getting rid of Mnemonic Wall. Well, that's good. No Fall of the Hammer is going to come back. Let's see what his last card is, though. All right. Uh, yep, swinging. That is very, very uh, surprising. Seldom do I see that card. I have seen it before, oddly enough, but that is a very... That is a very unusual, uh, that's just weird. Especially if, like, I don't, I don't get that. That's very weird. I'm trying to understand it, actually. Prevent all combat damage that would be, like, why in this deck would he play that? That's very weird. Maybe it's good with Mnemonic Wall. You get another fog effect or something. I don't quite understand how he's racing, though. I mean, he's got fatties. That's just weird. I don't know... What's up with the Defend the Hearth, but uh, let's see what else is good for sideboards. He's in red. There's a chance he's got some Cyclops, and uh, I mean, there's some really good ones, too. I like the 4-drop 5-2 one. I like the uh, Ill-Tempered one, the, you know, the 3-3 three, three with Monstrosity. That one, that, that one is actually just really good, the Trampling one. Uh, I don't think I've got any sideboard yet, though. I think we're fine as is currently. So let's just wait a bit longer here. All right, we got a keeper here. Don't have two black sources, but good uh, distribution of spells to lands and some nice playable spells. So no malls here. All right. Well, we're in guild territory, close to Sea Lock Monster territory. No two drop again. Very nice. Hey, we got one. Ooh, he does have a two drop. That's a good one, too. Let's see what he likes or dislikes. Card on the bottom. And card on top. All right. Found something he likes. Gnarled Scarhide. Yeah, that's not a big deal. That's the best three-drop creature he's got. That's not too shabby for us. Get the Siren out there. If he attacks here, I guess I'm not blocking. Seems safer to wait. But he decided it was not worth it. All right. Um, I guess we just chill for now. No big rush here. Got a good late game plan. All right.
Hmm. I guess we Necrobite. That lets me kill a Minotaur. So he's a Minotaur deck. He is a Minotaur deck. Okay. That, that makes a little more sense now. So we definitely want to kill as many Minotaurs as possible. Technically, we can Necrobite and Retraction Helix, but that's also a two-for-one against us, which I don't like. But at the same time, it makes this guy enormously big. I think we don't. I think we Necrobite. Yeah, I think we just block Necrobite. I guess I'm trying to prioritize what I think is better. Maybe the Necrobite's better than the Helix, but... I'm actually not sure. Would I rather have the bounce effect to kill the token or the necrobite to kill the token? The necrobite's going to protect us from future removal, but it's also much more cost intensive. Let's do necrobite. Well, I guess. It's actually really tough. I really don't know. Let's do the let's do the necrobite. I'm gonna have my mana busy for a while. So I think this is actually right. Could also just helix the other one. He's got three cards left in hand. We've still got plenty of action. We're gonna end up with a fatty. might actually be correct just to do both because we have the guild as well I guess we're doing it I'm not uh, <laughs> not like thrilled about this play because like I said we are using quite a bit of resources here but yeah I have to presume he's a minotaur deck so he's really gonna value minotaurs high we are making our guy bigger which is good I mean, we can just full-on attack now, and yeah, that's actually, okay. Because we drew the land, that play looks a lot better, because we do, like I said, have our mana pretty busy here. And we can deal with fatty things. No plays. Okay. Double sea lock monster? Wow. That'll clog up any board. All right. Definitely no big deal there. Just a land away from, well, I guess it's a swamp, though, but making him discard, gaining even more value. Currently, the board state, I would say, is very much in our favor. It would take a flyer or something to change this board state. Um, let's just pre-combat the Lamia to see what he discards. Coordinated Assault, pretty good, especially when you got Hoplite out, and we've got guys with counters. wonder what his last card is. Hopefully something Guild takes care of.
monstrosity. And that should be game. I would definitely still argue we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah. All right. Well, drew well and performed well. All right. We'll go to round two.